In this video, we're going to show you how to do an oil change in your Ford Mustang with the 3.8 liter V6. With the hood open, we're going to start by removing the oil fill cap. We're going to set that aside. We also want to go ahead and grab the oil dipstick, pull that up, we're going to give that a wipe, and set that right here. Now let's go ahead and get underneath the vehicle. On the passenger side lower portion of the engine, you're going to locate your oil pan and the drain plug on the bottom here. You can use a 13 millimeter socket. You can use a wrench or a ratchet. I like to give a little bit of inward pressure on the drain plug as I'm unthreading it. Once you feel it come loose, go ahead and pop that bolt back and let that drain out. Go ahead and install the drain plug once all of that oil is drained out. Let's go ahead and torque down that bolt to 19 foot-pounds. You can go ahead and use some spray solvent, clean up the residual oil. Give that a wipe down. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove our oil filter. Go ahead and use your oil filter wrench. Go ahead and loosen that oil filter. And we have our oil catch can underneath to catch this as well. Spin that filter off. Apply a little bit of upward pressure and then pop it down like so. Now up on the top here, I wanna go ahead and just wipe this down. Make sure that the O-ring from the oil filter is not still stuck on here. It should be a nice smooth metal surface. Next, go ahead, prepare your oil filter for installation. Take some of the engine oil from the new bottle and fill the oil filter. It will bubble a little bit and then start to go into the filter. And our goal here is to go ahead and fill up that oil filter as much as possible. We will lose a little bit when we go to screw this on, but not enough to be concerned about. The purpose of this here is to help prevent a dry start when we first start up the engine. That should be enough. Now that we have that set there, we're going to take a little bit of oil from the edge here and put some on the rubber O-ring seal. We're ready for installation. Good, bring that filter up. Now when you tip it, you're gonna lose a little bit of oil out of the side. Let's spin on that filter and give it a gentle snug. Now what we wanna do is wipe down this filter. We wanna make sure that it's not slick. And then we're gonna tighten it down by hand. An oil filter should not be tightened down any more than hand tight, but it should be a good grip. Now on the top side here, we're going to put our funnel into the section here in our valve cover. Now this engine uses five quarts of oil to fill it up. Use a recommended manufactured oil for this vehicle. Now remember the quart that we opened up to prime the oil filter. We're just going to continue to use the difference here up top and add the rest in. Okay, now that we have all five quarts in, grab our funnel, set that aside, install the oil fill cap. Now on our oil fill dipstick here, there are two measurements. There are two dimples or holes in here. The low mark is minimum in the middle is okay and then we have the max oil fill line up here you can go ahead and install our oil dipstick now at this point here hop into the vehicle start it up let it run for about 30 seconds come back out here with the engine off go ahead and check that oil level pull that out you should be up to that max line right here if you are perfect if you're low you need to add some oil but if you added five quarts you're all set when only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.